We'll give you another chance later. <laughs> this morning, we want to call your attention to this little baby. Amen. The baby all dressed up with the nice little pearls. <laughs> but they don't compare to that face. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was trying to get you to do there. <laughs> All of you know Ron and Amberlynn, and we love them. Amen. And then suddenly, our, what we call our church growth program <laughs> showed up. And Brielle Lauren. 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 I said it right the first time and doubted myself. Brielle Loren is with us this morning, and we're so thankful for her. And uh, we're going to dedicate this child, but we're also dedicating these parents. And the real purpose this morning is the dedication of these two to raise that little baby to know Jesus. Amen. That's what it's all about. Ron, just if you, if you can talk over that, <laughs> tell us how happy you are to be a daddy. <laughs> oh, I, I don't even think words can really explain. We're just we feel so blessed that you know she's you know, she just she's such a happy little girl, and you know she's just it's amazing how uh, that we're I felt like we were pretty close, but she's. Uh, this little one brought us even closer, for sure. Amen. <clears throat> you know, you come kind of think you have a good, you know, partnership and a good teamship, but you throw a little one into the mix those those late nights and early mornings, and you know, you really, really become a, a team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not always it's not always joyful times like this. There's, she does cry. <laughs> Us, but she does cry. She's and, not always happy. And from what I heard, today might be the day you hear it because she's teething. Yeah. So yeah, she's getting, getting her first tooth coming in. So pray about that. <laughs> and Amberlyn, we don't want to hear all the details of the birthing process, <laughs> but the motherhood. It's been good. It's it's uh, definitely been a challenge sometimes for me with the patience. I thought I was really good with patience. And then I had my own kid, and it's different when they're your own. Okay. So, Amen. but say we wouldn't trade you for anything. She brings so much joy. She's just so, like, it's just so fun to watch her. And like I was telling Charlie, and I think Jenny, you know, like I think it was Wednesday. I just brought her down and like set her down to go make her bottle. When I come back, she's just clapping. I'm like, oh, you can clap now. <laughs> when did you learn that? You weren't doing that like yesterday. <laughs> so it's fun to watch her grow and learn new things. And it's like she just. It's like a dog. She just learns a new trick, and like, it's like, oh, look at that new trick you learned. Like, you can do all this cool stuff. So, only the neat thing is, I always wanted my dog to talk. <laughs> the day's coming, she, and once she they has start, a lot to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. they will think, not stop. I don't think we're ever gonna have a problem with you not talking. Yeah. I think you have a lot to say, and you want to be heard. Your mama did. There. <coughs> she mom called that when they were an NST, a nonstop talk. Well, she's following in my footsteps. She's giving it honest. Obviously. Come by it honestly, yes, sir. So you look at this little baby. The Bible says they are a heritage of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Isn't that a blessing? Amen. And you just they they give us they give us everything we need as far as hope and, and joy <laughs> in the, our daily lives. And it can it can happen with nieces and nephews and it can happen with church family it, it's just a wonderful blessing of the Lord but it's a great responsibility and so we're here this morning to simply ask for the Lord to guide and direct these two and to help them in this great responsibility that they have a lot of joy but also have a lot of trials and a lot of troubles and I wasn't looking at you because I said that, Jolie, but I, I know you know what I mean. Amen? Oh, yeah. Nothing personal, Amberlynn, but I've heard. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, let's just take a moment right now and call on the Lord's blessing. Amen. Father, we thank you for this wonderful blessing with us this morning. 
and Brielle Loren is such a beautiful little baby, such a, a testimony of your wonderful creation. And Lord, we, we know that she is more precious in your sight than even in her parents' sight. And yet, there's nobody else on earth who looks at this baby the way these two do. And we know that Ron and Amberlynn love her with all their heart. And they have come this morning to dedicate their lives to raising this baby in the fear and admonition of the Lord. To know the Word of God. To know that prayer changes things. And Lord, to worship Jesus Christ and to know Him. And so we just ask this morning that You would have Your hand upon them. On this home, this family, on this baby. Bless them, Lord. Keep them in the power of Your Spirit, in Your grace, and with Your mercy. And we thank You that even little babies like this we look at knowing that they're going to grow up and they're going to need salvation through Jesus Christ. But You have died on the cross in the person of Jesus. Shed Your blood. And after being buried, You demonstrated that You are the author of life when You rose from the dead. You said, I am the resurrection and the life. If any man believe in Me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And may that eternal life belong to all three of these standing here before Me right now. Because of Jesus, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 It's alright to clap. <laughs> I'll give this to mommy, otherwise it will be demolished. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you. Amen. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.